What's up, everyone? We got big news here today in the Last of Us TV show world. We have a casting announcement and confirmation that the one and only Jeffrey Wright will be reprising his role as Isaac in the second season of The Last of Us. This is really good news for everyone out there that's a Last of Us video game fan that's been following the video game over to the TV show because we know that Jeffrey Wright provides his voice for Isaac in The Last of Us Part Two. Jeffrey Wright reprising his role as Isaac in the second season of The Last of Us now makes him the second person from the video game to reprise their exact role uh, and character from the video game over to the TV show. The first being Merle Dandridge, as we know, she voices Marlene in the game, and then she played Marlene in the first season of The Last of Us. Jeffrey Wright now makes the second person to do the exact match. I say exact match because, as we know, some people like Troy Baker, who obviously voices Joel, goes on to reprise James. Uh, That would be David Lieutenant in the first season, and we have someone like Jeffrey Pierce who voices Tommy. He goes on to um, play a character named Perry that's made up in the Kathleen segment of the Kansas City part. So Jeffrey Wright, now the second person to do have an exact match from the video game over to the TV show. Okay, so what else do we know Jeffrey Wright from? Okay, there's two big ones for me. Look, the man is, I believe in his 60s, He's a very famous actor. He totally has, like, if you went to his IMDb, he's going to have a lot more credits to his name than the two that I'm going to give here. But there's two that stand out for me that I'm a big fan of him in. Uh, the first one he plays uh, is Narcisse. And I believe it was, like, the later seasons of Boardwalk Empire. I think it's season four he comes in. Um, Boardwalk Empire is a one of my top 10 favorite shows of all time. It's a fantastic show. It takes place during Prohibition era in Atlantic City. Um, <clears throat> Jeffrey Wright plays a very villainous uh, Dr. Narcisse uh, in that show. Check that out if you ever get the chance there. Um, and if you have your Mac subscription there, there's a ton of good shows on HBO, guys. Okay, like let's not just watch The Last of Us or Game of Thrones. A lot of good stuff there. Huge catalog. Okay, that's the first one. And the second thing that you may recognize him from, once again, an HBO show, that would be Westworld where he plays Bernard. Um, it's a good show. I've only ever watched the first season. It's fantastic. I heard it goes downhill a little bit after that. So not sure if I'll keep watching it. Um, but Jeffrey Wright, in it as Bernard is phenomenal. Once again, the man is an amazing actor. Uh, He's going to do nothing but just class The Last of Us TV show up even more if that's even possible. The first season was so good. Um, But once again, like I said, HBO likes to recast their actors uh, in future projects, right? Just look at the two leads in in The Last of Us, Pedro Pascal and Bella Ramsey. Obviously, they come from uh, Game of Thrones alum. Um, again, Jeffrey Wright's no different. Boardwalk Empire, Westworld, uh, two fantastic shows that, once again, I'm just happy to see him reprise his role. So overall, do I love this casting? Yes. I, I mean, I can't possibly love this casting anymore. Anytime that they can get someone as an exact match to play in the show, the person that they voiced and or provided motion capture for in the video game. That's a huge deal for everyone that's faithful in coming from that source material, which is the video game. They did a great job with it in the first season. <clears throat> Again, Merle Dandridge playing as Marlene, finding the way to get Troy Baker into the show, finding a way to get Jeffrey Pierce into the show, uh, keeping the Gustavo Santayala music prevalent in the show, um, really just feeling that Last of Us touch right? That Naughty Dog touch to it again. They do such a fantastic job getting that into the TV show. And the show was a phenomenal. It was a great first season, um, worthy of all the praise and all the accolades that it received. And I'm glad to see that they're going to continue that going into the second season um, by casting Jeffrey Wright to reprise his role as Isaac again. I, I, I think that he he did a good job as Isaac. He's not in the game a lot. And it's kind of, uh, again, he, he's coming into a show as, as a humongous actor, and he's going to be playing a role, which I don't know how much screen time he's going to get. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Maybe they play with it a little bit. Maybe they implement him into some scenes that he wasn't in in the game and and find a way to to get his touch, his creative touch. I'm sure they're going to want to like get Jeffrey Wright. It's like having like a special player on a sports team. You want to get them on the field as much as possible. Jeffrey Wright is a very special actor and he did such a great job voicing Isaac. I think they're going to probably try to find a way to get him some more game time, right? Maybe get him some more touches on the ball uh, than what he had in the, in the, uh, in the video game. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's such a fan service whenever they put such a precedent on placing people 
that played the character in the game, finding a way to get them in a show. Again, Troy Baker, obviously, you know, they, they cast Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal is going to play Joel. But what do they do? They find a way to get Troy Baker into the first season. They find a way to get Jeffrey Pierce, who voices Tommy, into the first season, right? They did a great job doing all of that stuff, right? And they continue to do it by getting people like Jeffrey Wright into it. And I'm sure that, like, it's not like they're like, you know, really like grasping deep there. Like, oh, man, I tell you what, we're really going to have to get the big wigs at HBO to sign off on getting Jeffrey Wright to play a role in our show. Like, obviously, no one's going to have a problem with that. He's a really big named actor. Um, they're, 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 you know, ecstatic to get that. Uh, but the, the point is, is that they make the emphasis to make that work, to make that happen. Uh, and that's and that's what they and that's what they did there. So <clears throat> I'm very excited to see what we're going to get in the second season. Um, I'm pretty much all the casting, I think, is done uh you know for the most part so if any other big casting uh decisions you know or, or whatever trailers come out uh for the last of us season two i'll certainly do a reaction video to it we do everything the last of us here uh at this channel um <clears throat> primarily video games but again anything news wise in regards to the last of us um we're here to talk about it react to it uh this was a big one here just because of who the actor is and and, and what the news was he's reprising his role again the second person to do an exact match from game over to show uh i was pumped to see it again they just do such a good job with fan service here so far with the last of us top to bottom on the screen behind the scenes music you name it they do a fan phenomenal job i was gonna say fantastic i know i think i've probably uh wasted my my quota uh or used up my quota for the word fantastic in this video so i, I pulled that back there for you guys um but again just just makes me giddy uh seeing great castings for this great show um and just excited to see what the future brings uh gonna do another video here coming up on maybe like what we can predict to see in the second season uh with it being seven episodes very short two episodes shorter than the first season um and based on some of the behind the scenes stuff that we've had some of the photos of, of the uh the sets um it looks like they make it all the way to ellie's day one and now we have a confirmation that isaac will be in the second season and for everyone that's played the game you know it, it, that's that's you're going deep into the game there before we get to isaac pretty deep at least at least about halfway um the, the fine for them to find a way to squeeze that into seven episodes they must be doing like a marathon run here through this so i hope nothing's sacrificed i do feel like if there's one critique in the first season um you know it, it does feel like they they wanted to sacrifice maybe some of the content of the latter parts of the journey across the country to salt lake city to get to the finish line there those last couple episodes eight and nine did feel pretty rushed um the whole seventh episode was dedicated to left behind uh so you know, hopefully they don't sacrifice any of the good stuff there. There's a lot of quality stuff from the beginning of the game through through Ellie's time in Seattle. Uh, hopefully, you know, again, hopefully nothing gets cut out. But again, I have faith in Druckmann. Um, I have faith uh, in Craig Mason. They've not led us astray so far. They've done awesome stuff. So our trust is there. But uh, hey, thanks for sticking with me on this one. Again, just wanted to make this video excited about the news there for, for Jeffrey Wright and uh I'm gonna be playing Isaac. I'm pumped about that. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, are there any other like dream castings that you wish you would have seen? Do you love the castings uh, so far here for the second season? Um, just let me know what you guys think in the comment. Uh, if you enjoy this, please uh, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks.